Women in Iran are pilots, they're truck drivers, they're taxi drivers, and they are scientists. They are presidents of universities, they are members of parliament. There's a very misleading understanding of Iran that Western media presents, just like it does with India. I Iran is not a utopia, but it is definitely not a dystopia. There's more democracy in Iran, I would argue, than any of its neighbors, including Turkey. Is it an ideal democracy? Is it an ideal? No. But it is a country that has survived decades of maximum pressure sanctions designed to make people suffer and rise up against the government, terrorist organizations infiltrating, a huge Persian language media apparatus in the West. There are more anti-Iranian Persian channels than there outside of Iran beaming into the country than there are inside Iran. So the West has been trying to undermine Iran for decades through these means, and it hasn't been able to succeed. And that is because Iran has a lot of popular legitimacy. And the best evidence that I can provide is when, the, when General Soleimani, who defeated the extremists, was murdered by the Americans. The, funerals that, the funeral that we saw in Tehran had over 10 million people. So I think that our friends in India should be careful about how uh, the, United, the West describes Iran, just like as, Iran, as Iranians should be more careful about how the West describes India. Ultimately, at the end of the day, they are not a part of our region. We are together in Asia, and we need to understand one another much better in order to improve the lives of our citizens.